In today's episode, I'm continuing my crusade to find you the best inexpensive copy fragrances that smell remarkably similar to the high-end niche brands, with the only real main difference being that they come at a fraction of the cost. Today's offering is one by Fragrance World, who are based in the United Arab Emirates, and this one is called After Effect. So, to find out all you need to know about this one, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. <laughs> Yes, hello again everybody and thank you very much once again for tuning in to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's featured scent is After Effect by Fragrance World, who are a brand in, that in my opinion they sail quite close to the wind when it comes to blatantly ripping off the big fragrance brands and some of the bottle designs are so close to the original that you'd have to do a double take to notice that it wasn't the real thing that you were looking at. Uh, take this bottle that I, uh, I picked up a few weeks ago which is a copy of Baccarat Rouge 540 and at first glance you'd think that you were looking at the actual real thing here uh, but on closer inspection you'll realize that this is actually called uh, Barakat Rouge 540 rather than Baccarat Rouge 540 which is scarily close to the original and uh, I don't know how they can kind of get away with it to be honest but anyway this is a, a dupe of side effects by Initio Parfums which is my favorite smelling fragrance in the whole Initio Parfums product range the original will set you back £210 for a 90ml bottle size, uh, but you can pick this After Effects copy version up on eBay for just £26, albeit for a slightly smaller 80ml bottle size, but it still comes in at almost 10 times cheaper. Okay, so into the presentation, and to be fair, both the box and the bottle uh, don't look too similar to the original side effect bottle design. But instead, they've gone for the Oud for Greatness style design, which is finished in a, a dark purple colourway. And just to complicate things even further, it's virtually identical to Latafa's Oud Amethyst, which is a, a copy of a totally different fragrance. So make sure it states after effect in the description, uh, like on eBay, or you, you see it on the bottle before before you press the uh, buy it now button. The box looks really smart and it's in a, like a, a rigid cardboard presentation style with a little pull tab at the top um, so that you can uh, access the bottle from it. On the front is the uh, the name of the fragrance and the size and the concentration printed in gold and you get a little clear plastic window so you can see the bottle inside. At the top is uh, a Fragrance World logo and on the back is all your product information and your barcode and also this little uh, hologram sticker of authenticity. And around the side is uh, a QR code which will take you straight to the Fragrance World website. The bottle is uh, very weighty and it feels uh, extremely well made uh, and as you can see it is similar in design to this uh, Oud for Glory uh, version from Latafa. On the front is the uh, the name of the fragrance and down at the bottom is the concentration which uh, is in this case an extra de parfum which is pretty much the highest concentration that you can get. At the top is uh, a little gold plate with uh, another logo on and then uh, again we have another logo down at the bottom but also we have the, uh, the size and the concentration etched into the bottom of this plate as well. Uh, the sprayer is uh, really decent, it delivers a really nice spray and overall uh, with this you get like a really nice expensive feeling product and if this was sat on your dressing table and uh, some, somebody that came around to your house weren't a fragrance geek like me they'd probably think that you've got a, a really expensive fragrance sat on your dressing table with this one so not too bad in terms of its presentation. Yes, yeah, so into the note breakdown, and there's just four official notes listed in this one, uh, which are rum, tobacco, vanilla, and cinnamon. Yeah, so this one smells super rich and luxurious with an instant warm, dark and sweet aroma with a smooth velvety texture. But it's possibly not quite as smooth and well blended and balanced as the original from the opening spray. And this is probably where you're most likely to notice a difference between the two if you uh, were to compare them directly side by side. 
This one does, uh, however, smell a bit more harsh and a bit more chemically in the beginning, uh, but it only lasts for a couple of minutes until the perfumer's alcohol evaporates. And then, honestly, you'd need to have the nose of a blood down to be able to tell the, uh, the difference between the two. It starts out with oodles of sweetness with the vanilla and sweet tobacco being the most dominant notes and the first thing you'll notice is a, a dense plum-like fruitiness and I'm going to be honest some fellas may find this to be uh, a little maybe a touch too sweet in the opening and even perhaps leaning a bit feminine at first but as it dries down the boozy rum note comes through as well as a hint of spiciness from the cinnamon and you end up with uh, the most intoxicating seductive fragrance ever with like a, a dark rich and full-bodied aroma it's literally like uh, purple velvet in a bottle and today's Valentine's Day and I couldn't think of a more suitable fragrance to wear on a date night than this one it's warm cozy and comforting with a, a relaxed and sophisticated character yet it's sexy and addictive and it just seems to draw people in it's got um, like a mellow nighttime feel about it and I think it bears a slight similarity to Jazz Club by Maze and Margiela uh, but I'd say this is a touch sweeter with less of like that smoky tobacco note. It's a, a massive compliment magnet and it never fails to attract attention whenever I wear it so yeah a very very nice smelling scent. Yeah, this is more of an autumn and winter fragrance and one that's better suited to wear in the evenings to either a dressed up formal event or maybe like I've just mentioned, an intimate date night. It doesn't give off a clubbing scent type uh, of vibe in my opinion and it's more of a classy James Bond type fragrance that you'd expect to smell on a guy in a, a dimly lit wine bar. It's way too sweet and rich to wear casually during the day or as like an office scent, especially in the hot weather. And it does have a more mature character, so I'd expect to smell this on somebody over the age of 25 or perhaps even 30. Uh, this one is one that would be uh, like a perfect complement to a tuxedo but like one of those velvet tuxedos. Uh, so if you've got an awards ceremony coming up at work then I would say that this is your guy. Yet as I mentioned earlier, it's an X-ray de parfum concentration, so it's super long lasting and you'll get a full day of wear out of it without any problem and there'll be no need to reapply it. It has a, a strong but not overpowering arm's length projection that will always get you noticed and complimented, but it's not a room filler as such or one that screams for attention. And because it's quite a smooth, easy going scent profile, you can maybe go a, a spray or two heavier than usual. This is very comparable to the original in both projection and longevity and both last for a good 8-9 to nine hours before you stop detecting them. Yeah, so for £26 this is a fantastic pickup. It smells exactly like the original but for the sake of uh, not offending anyone who's paid £210 for the original side effect I'll say it's 95% accurate and that will hopefully make you feel a little bit better. Uh, but seriously this is just the same as the uh, as side effect when you smell it in the air and I don't think that even your most hardened fragrance connoisseurs will be able to tell them apart. The performance is really good and it's uh, presented in a really nice uh, way, it feels really decent too, so I would say that I'd highly recommend this one. It's possibly not the safest blind buy and it might not be for everybody but I personally don't find anything too challenging or complex in it and it's probably one of my favourite smelling fragrances that I own, especially during the winter time, so I would say give this one a go and let me know how you get along with it and I'm sure even if you don't like it, I think you, like the, the lady in your life might take it off your hands. Yes, so once again, that's about it for today's scent of the day. But don't forget, I'll be back very soon with a couple of perfume parlor haul videos. One dedicated to men's fragrances and the other one based around women's perfume. So don't forget to keep an eye out for those coming up in the next day or two. I'll also be reviewing some more new Middle Eastern ones from Afnan and Latafa, as well as uh, reviewing some brand new re uh, designer releases, so plenty of interesting stuff coming up. But don't forget if you've enjoyed the content and found this video useful then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Most people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so it'd mean a great deal if you could just click on that little red button for me and that way you won't miss any future content. 
It's also great to interact with you all down in the comments section and I really enjoy reading about your own experiences and your opinions on all things fragrance. So keep your comments coming down in the comments section and let's create a nice little helpful community for anyone who's just discovering or discovering new fragrances or they're new to the channel. So once again, thank you very much for uh, tuning in today and giving me 10 minutes of your time. Uh, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll uh, see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.